Hello everyone, Garvey.com presents to you a video on smart cities. So what is so smart about smart cities? Firstly, they have highly advanced infra. Infra in terms of real estate, which is sustainable, communications and market viability. The most important aspect of this infra is information technology. So, information technology is used to provide essential services to the residents of the smart cities. Also, it involves a technological platform. Technological platform involves things like automated sensor networks and data centers. So, in Seoul in Korea, they've been treating waste so that it disposes volumes and has transformed solid waste landfills into city park assets that actually generate energy. So, that is a smart way of managing your waste resources. So similarly, in Brazil, you have a very smart approach in managing transport and land use. Singapore is a small city state and it balances its dense built up areas with ample green spaces. So basically one would ask that you know in a, in a country like India which is lacking in basic amenities like drinking water, good governance etc. Should we not be focusing on those things rather than focusing on something very hi-fi like smart cities? But in fact the answer is because we have a major resource crunch, it is essential that we use smarter approaches to city planning and management. Because unless we take the leap and we start managing our cities better and adopt out of the box approaches, we will never be able to provide the basic infra and amenities which we still lack in the 21st century. So just to give you a gist of what exactly are the components of a smart city, you can have smart energy which involves smart grid projects. This could involve linking all the energy sources and creating a common grid which would provide energy to all the residents of the city. Smart meters. Environment is an essential thing. You know, most people feel that, you know, a pre placing a premium on environment is basically cutting down on your development. But you need to look at it this way. that Unless your growth and development is sustainable in terms of the environment, you are basically robbing the future generation of a right to live. And that is not really how a city should be managed. So, in a smart city, you have to have smart environment, uh, which manages wa water and waste. Also, sanitation, cleanliness have to be managed in a way that there is no open defecation. Start tra smart transport, um, and which will involve monorails and high-speed rail, etc., is an essential as well. IT has to be looked at not only as a resource, which would be powering all these other components, but IT is also an end in itself. So, providing broadband and wide IT uh, and Wi-Fi is important. Smart buildings which uh, have low water usage, low energy usage um, and also a reduced maintenance cost is essential. Smart vehicles, smart education, smart health are also part of smart cities. So Government of India has allocated uh, around 70 billion for smart cities in the previous budget of 2014-15. India is planning 100 new smart cities and will develop modern satellite towns around existing cities under the smart city program. So we're basically moving towards a hub and spoke model wherein there will be a smart city which will be dotted around by satellite cities which, and which will then create an ecosystem of a city and the satellite towns. So just to take a look at the latest announcements, 12 smart cities are to come up at ports with around 50,000 crores of investment. Each port will construct one smart city. We are trying to do this. Each city will be built with an expenditure of about 3,000 to 4,000 crore is what Mr. Gadkari has said. Now, um, as expected, these smart cities will be built in a PPP mode that is public-private partnership and private investment will be roped in uh, to invite cons in construction of houses and other amenities. The cities will be built as per international standards and will have wide roads, green energy and advanced townships and greenery. And finally, obviously needless to say, they will have e-governance links, international standard facilities, special economic zones, ship breaking and ship building centers. Um, you can imagine that ship breaking and ship building are important because these cities 
smart cities are initially to be constructed around and in ports. So this is a roundup on smart cities. Uh, we hope you like the video. Subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.